your own understanding, truth under Babylon's empiricism. What up? Here we go on another endeavor of contagions, virus, and disease. It's like every it's like every 10 years there's something else coming out in regard to respiratory infections, heart disease, cancers, and things like that. They are busy. They are busy at work. The, the issue is people. People are people's worst enemy. Because you have divided the population. We have divided the population and divided influence, divided outlook, divided potential cooperation. And so now in the information age, what you have is denial, disbelief, and manipulation, false news, uh, false information, and things like that. So, when it comes to reporting, what we have now are experiencing is you can't say not to be trusted, you can't say to be trusted. Um, I recommend personal research, doing your own research, especially on the strains of the common cold and how you can actually synthesize those things tailor those things for specifics and I'm also hearing people saying things like oh, black people aren't affected by these things or you know by this particular strain of coronavirus so let's not be dumb let's not be lulled into a sleep so when a few months from now when they actually start giving out vaccines and they finally bring to the light that the coronavirus has mutated and now black people are dropping like flies that's not what you want it's not what you want to experience and not be prepared for it so, what I suggest is stop listening to people and do your own research and find out exactly what it is that you have to be concerned with, as opposed to just going, with, going on what people tell you and hopes and disbeliefs and things like that. This is something that's real, folks. You see what it's doing to the economy, you see what it's doing to the Dow Jones Industrial, you see what's happening to people, people's thoughts, and how they are actually uh, perceiving the current happenings. Denial is not the key. Understanding is best. And my neighbor bad as shit. And just be honest with yourself if you don't know. Say you don't know and find out what the proper channels are, um, who has the proper information, what is really happening. Uh, if you have friends, particularly uh, Generation Z, if you have friends, you know, because I guess about this point you should be, you know, in school with a lot of different. Uh, a lot of different races, a lot of different cultures and backgrounds. So I suggest you network and connect to find out what's going on with these people and their families when it comes to their homeland, what's going on there. I'm pretty sure their families are going to let them know what they are experiencing back home. So I suggest you, you do that. I suggest people uh, network together and find out exactly where it's spreading, where the coronavirus is leading to, um, and what you can do to protect yourself. That's 100% what I would actually do, um, what I recommend doing. Um, not, not being complacent, not 
saying all of the past like all the others. Um, and just, just uh, you know, keep in mind that we are in a brave new age now where, you know, people can manipulate and do things uh, on a microscopic level. On a level where you could take two different forms of technology, meaning the understanding of molecules and electromagnetic um, technology, and you can combine those, use those to do some terrible things and great things at the same time. Um, but things that the regular general population has no clue about. So when you prepare yourself for the inevitable, because what is inevitable is, you know, things are going to happen, positive or negative, it's going to happen. Being prepared is key. Being aware is key. I definitely, definitely suggest you look into how you can protect yourself. You look into what they have coming up on the horizon as far as vaccinations and things like that. Decide whether or not you think that is prudent for you um, and what you believe in. Um, and also, stay in touch, keep close to family. And like I said, and friends also, uh, the ones who have, you know, international connections, you know, through school or just, you know, um, you know, clubs or just affiliations, yeah, find out what's going on in, in those particular uh, friends or people, homeland life. See what's going on there. Find out exactly what's going on because you can't trust mainstream media. You got to really know for yourself. So let's figure it out. Don't be complacent. Uh, make sure that you are protected. Make sure you find out how you can protect yourself. Um, I believe, um, you know, not just, you know, someone coughing and sneezing on you um, and you protecting your, you know, your respiration. Uh, skin. I believe this shit is actually being absorbed through the skin also. Um, you know, stay clean and stay aware.